Hello stampers! Welcome to 3D Thursday. Today I am going to show you how to make this super cute little bunny um, that's a Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bar holder. Um, and it's just one of the little fun size, little small sizes um, of Hershey Bar. But I think they are such cute little holders. Um, and again, would be super cute to give, you know, stick in an Easter basket, your kids, your grandkids, give to some co-workers, friends, neighbors, whatever. Just a super cute, fun little easy project. And it is super easy. So are you ready to get started? Let's do this. Now you are going to start off, you are going to need a piece of cardstock that measures two and a half by two. Okay. And you're going to take it and I'm going to pull out my trimmer here so we can do some scoring. Along the long side here, you're going to score it at one inch. You're going to turn it around and score it at one inch. Okay. Then on the short side, you're going to score it at a half an inch. You're going to turn around and score it at a half inch. So it looks just like that. Okay. Super easy. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and you're just going to trim along both sides on the score lines up to the next score line. So it's just like that, okay? Then we're going to score it on all the folds. I'm sorry, we're gonna fold it on all the score lines. Get my words right here. And then I think I'm going to use some tear and tape since it is kind of a box little thing. Um, and when it's facing you and you've folded it all in, you're going to put your adhesive on that strip right there and on that strip right there, okay? So you're just going to take the backing off. This one goes first. This one's going to fold up. And then this one is going to fold and lay, ouch, right over the top, just like that, okay? All right, then on this one, you're gonna take that backing off your tape. Again, the little one goes in, then the one without the adhesive, and then the one with the adhesive, okay? And sometimes it's a little hard to get it straight and everything, um, but you know, just get kind of close. It's not really gonna matter. If you see that you have some little tabs hanging off there, um, you can just get your scissors and trim them um, and then it will sit up perfectly for you. All right, so now we're ready to decorate it with whatever we wanna decorate it with. I am going to bring out my Fable Friends again, which is the same stamp set that I used on my baby card um, on Wednesday of this week. So I'm gonna use it this time for Easter, okay? So Fable Friends, I'm gonna use this little bunny right there. So I am just going to ink it up with my black memento. Stamp my bunny down like that. Take my markers and I'm gonna color him in, okay? So I'm going to use my light crumb cake. Oops, I want the brush in. It's going to be a little hard to color. I've sliced open my finger earlier today. Um, that's why you heard me say ouch a minute ago because um, I hit it. And, you know, when you slice open or injure your pointy finger on your dominant hand, you don't realize how much you use that finger until it's hurt and you can't use it. And then I feel like I'm hitting it and poking it with things all the time. So we're trying to color here. Seems to be going okay. I don't seem to have quite the control I did because that finger's not holding it down. Um, but I think we will do just fine. Okay. Then I am going to take my ivory color. Again, still going to use the brush end. Going to color his little belly. Ooh, yeah, but I don't have the control without that finger on there. Okay. Then, since my cardstock I'm using is the Calypso Coral, I thought I would color his little jacket with the Calypso Coral, um, and I'm just going to use the light and the dark. So I'll use the light to color his little jacket in. Okay. 
And then I'll use the dark color just to touch up his little buttons just like that. All right, now we'll see if this finger affects my cutting. Oh good, it does not. Okay, so again, I seem to be the queen of fussy cutting. I love to fussy cut. So I'm just gonna cut this little bunny out for you. And I um, took a picture and I put it on Instagram, or maybe I haven't yet and I'm going to today. Um, I actually sat down last night while I was watching TV and fussy cut things for some upcoming swaps that I had. So the dancing girl and the beautiful you stamp set, I colored and fussy cut 45 of them. And then this little bunny for a couple of different swaps I'm in with him, I colored and fussy cut 15 of him. So by the time I got done last night, my poor hand was cramping on me, um, as you can imagine. But again, I enjoyed doing it and just did it while I sat and watched TV. And I was done before you before you knew it. So pretty easy. Again, it's kind of a therapy for me. I do like to fussy cut. Um, I know some of you do not like to, um, but I just kind of really enjoy doing it and it is relaxing to me. So there you go. There is the little bunny cut out. Okay. And now all we simply need to do is put some adhesive on the bottom back. And she is going to go just down like that. Okay, and you want to make sure that the feet are even with the bottom here. And then get your little Hershey bar, and you'll see that it fits perfectly inside of there. So there are my little Hershey um, holders with my bunnies um, that I think they are super cute. So thanks for joining me for this fast little 3D project. And I hope that you make some of these for your friends and family for Easter. Thanks for watching.